Hi, Tom here. Welcome to Alley Pink. Today I want to show you how I made this cool bench. I made it from a crate I picked up at a yard sale for six bucks. Here's how I did it. When I picked this up at the yard sale, it was very dirty and it smelled pretty bad. So the first thing I did was take a stiff wire brush and I cleaned it thoroughly. Now I'm brushing in the direction of the grain. Then I got a bucket of soapy water and a bristle brush and cleaned it and rinsed it thoroughly until it looked like this. I salvaged these four legs from an old Ikea bed. I checked their website and they still sell similar ones that are even adjustable. Since old crates are not necessarily straight and true, you might need to make an adjustment like I did here using a stiff piece of cardboard. In true alley picked fashion, trying to avoid paying for anything, I found this old polyurethane in my uncle's basement after he passed away. It's got to be at least 10 or 15 years old. Let's see if it's still useful. It's a little thick, but not too bad considering its age. That's what people usually say about me. You could always add a little bit of paint thinner to it. After applying four coats, it came out pretty good. Using another alley picked board, I'll take measurements and start constructing a door for the front. After measuring the opening, I'll be cutting five pieces of wood, three for the front and two braces for the back. I'm drilling pilot holes here to avoid splitting the wood. Add a little glue and I'll start assembling the door. A little clean up with a wire brush in the direction of the grain. Now the color of the door doesn't quite match so I'll be using a medium dark stain and thinning it out with paint thinner. Now I'm thinning it because I don't want to hide the wood grain. I can always darken it later by adding more stain. After we finish it off with several coats of poly, we'll be ready to mount the door. I'm using these self-closing hinges from my salvaged stash. Most of the furniture that people throw away is made of cheap press board. 
However, you can usually salvage the hinges and knobs. I'm measuring an equal distance from both ends, marking the holes. Using an awl, I poke holes that will guide the screws precisely where I want them. Using another scrap piece of wood, I'm making this door stop. What better knob than this cross section of a branch? I'm scraping off some of the finish to give it a better bonding surface for the glue. Thanks for watching and remember, sometimes the best things in life are